Comfy with the Goose. We're in Argao in Cebu in the Philippines, Raquel's hometown. It's a Saturday morning. People are up and about taking care of business and we're just taking a little tour to uh, give you a glimpse of what the city is like. Argao is a city of about 50,000 people. Jollibee, which is the Filipino equivalent of McDonald's. Very, very popular. They just opened one up here in Argao a year or two ago. Here's the gym I was working out at. Brutal, brutal. No air conditioning. Try that, but will ya? Directing traffic. There he is. Church, aren't we? Yeah. Can we get a glimpse of the church? Now, the church we're going to show you is uh, where uh, Roel and Raquel's uh, folks got married, and maybe even your grandparents. I, maybe even their parents, because the church, I believe, is about 240 years old. And Raquel, of course, we got married in the U.S., but her family could not attend, so. <clears throat> On our seventh wedding anniversary, we had a second wedding here in Argao, and it was amazing. Just an incredible experience. Uh, any Filipino gathering, whether it's uh, you know birthday party, graduation, funeral, wedding, you name it, there's no such thing as a small get together. And here uh, we'll look. What's the name of the church again, Roel? Uh, Senior Archangel Church. San Miguel Archangel Church. From Argao Town. 200 years old. And it's, and it's so beautiful inside. And in case you didn't know it, I am Catholic and uh, Filipinos are more than Catholic. Deadly serious about their Catholicism, their Christian faith, which is good. This is the city hall, by the way. Argo was established as a city, I believe in 1601, right around there. When the uh, Spaniards were <clears throat> colonized the country. Isn't that beautiful? Now I can't speak for any other faith, even Protestants, but with with Catholics, and correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, Roel, we like our churches big and old and traditional. Am I right? Yes. We don't want these new fancy schmancy churches. Come on now. Give me the old school. Old school. It's it's in this school. It's an old school. Cleaning up, always cleaning. There's the ocean. This is the ocean from Argo. Pier, Fort of Argo, town. And Argo is growing, you know, population wise, yes, but even more so economically. It's you get a glimpse of 
ships at sea, smaller boats. Let me roll the window down so you can get a glimpse of this, a little clearer vision. That's old school for you. Got their fishing nets. But uh, it's a big uh, fishing destination and diving and resorts. The natural beauty here in Argau is uh, breathtaking. I've been out swimming in the ocean many, many, many times here. Gorgeous. And uh, is that Bohol over there? Yeah. Okay, Bohol is another Bohol. Uh, one, of, another one of the. Uh, 7,000 Islands, we were there last time. Home of the Chocolate Hills. Anyhow, you see another boat way, way Home out there. Home of the Tashir. What is that, the, uh, the, the monkeys? The Tashir, the monkeys. Yeah, small smallest monkeys. monkeys in the world, that's right. <laughs> Excellent. Not scary monkeys like the uh, Howler monkeys in Costa Rica that uh, scared me half to death. All monkeys, all wildlife, those should be respected. A little fear doesn't doesn't hurt either. Now, Roel, you, as part of your line of work, you uh, deal with a lot of foreigners here in Argo, correct? Yes. From what yeah. what countries? Uh, Germany. Belgium, Norway, American, a lot of uh, kind of foreigner here. I'll be the one to, sometimes I will be the one to take in the airport uh -huh. and bring back to the airport, like that. Because uh -huh. my job is the tour, driver of the tourist band uh -huh. here. That's all. Yep. And again, here's the old, uh, this is the city hall, the back side of the city hall. And this is the uh, courthouse over here in Argo. And you see the uh, church bell tower in the distance. Last night we saw a, uh, there again is the church. Last night we saw a competition of public school teachers and uh, it was beautiful. And what part of what made it beautiful is they were singing Christmas carols. And I mean traditional Christian Catholic. Uh, you, you know, when you go back to the United States, how dare you mention God in public schools where you're not allowed to, which is a real sad state of affairs. There's Jesus himself praying. Mother Mary. A lot of saints. Uh, these are the apostles, yes all depicted on the uh, parish center. And as we leave the church grounds, we uh, head back into town in Argonne. You can see the mountains in the distance. That's one of the cool things about Argau is um, you look off to your left, there's the ocean. You look to your right, there's mountains. And I did a couple of videos uh, on our journey up to the mountains here earlier so you may want to look for that. See the tricycles, that's a major uh, source of transportation, almost like taxis. And if you like coffee, mm -hmm. Alan Taku. Mm -hmm. And again, you get every conceivable type of vehicle on the road here. You'll see a little bit of it here. I'd say most people have motorcycles. And 
and uh, you got the tricycles again, very cheap uh, mode of transportation. You got your regular vehicles too. You have jeepneys, and we don't see many of the older jeepneys anymore. They're like taxis that will uh, hold about maybe a dozen people. And it originated after World War II. They took the old Jeeps and built them into uh, basically taxis, uh, like vans, and they're beautiful. But we don't see them. You, you can see them in uh, you know the bigger cities once in a while. Here, they're the smaller, more modern versions. But look it up if you want to get a good glimpse. Jeepney, J-E-E-P-N-E-Y. Again, you don't see people wearing helmets here. Nope. Got no time for that. <laughs> and I think it's because you're out in these smaller communities. You get into the bigger towns like Cebu City, everyone's wearing helmets. But here, no. See the mountains in the distance. And those are very tall mountains, I'm guessing about. Now, not by. Rocky Mountain standards like 15,000 feet. They're more like four or 5,000 feet, but keep in mind, there's the ocean again. Keep in mind the elevation, you're right next to the ocean, so you're literally going up very, very quickly. So it's, it's a harrowing experience driving on those narrow winding roads up into the mountains. Constructing a new bridge as we speak. Yes, these are homes for some poor people. Funny thing about Filipino homes, some of them I should say. On many occasions we visited relatives and I see the outside of their house and you can bear, bear me out on this, Roel. You look at the outside of the house and you're like, oh my God, that's so sad, this is a shack. You open the door and you walk inside, whoa, this is not a shack. This is a very nice house, very nice. So, yeah, don't judge your book by its color. Cover. Or color. Keep this rolling until we get to, uh, up to Kandabon and then we'll call it quits. Construction always going on here in Argo. Always something happening. What a beautiful day. go. I think you guys got a good glimpse of what it's like here in Argo. Uh, the, uh, I believe it's uh, Julie's Bake Shop. There you go. Home of the best panda salt on earth, in my humble opinion. Argo, I believe, is the second largest city in Cebu, after Cebu City. And it's home. Raquel and I and uh, Roel just built a house here, uh, like, four or five years ago. It's very nice. Newly married Raquel, Roel, by the way. Thank you. Congratulations again. Yes. Lovely bride for you. Thank you, brother. And uh, Raquel and I are in the process of building a home ourselves. And it's a slow process, but it's uh, very affordable and it's going to be very nice. So retirement just a couple of years away. So. There you have it. Thanks for joining me on this little visit to Argao in the Philippines.